Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonia, so welcome. Sorry that my audio did not pick up my introduction for some reason, but what I'm pretty much babbling about is it's been a minute since I filmed and thought why not take this perfect opportunity since everyone's in quarantine to film this glammed up look. And creating this smoked out purple look, I've used the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsession Palette has some super pretty colors, um, different textures. So if you'd like to know how I created this look, just keep watching. So I've already prepped my skin using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream as well as a Hydrating Eye Cream. These two products put together underneath your makeup is like everything. Like your makeup just glides on so well and it locks in that moisture. So for the foundation, I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Weightless Foundation in the color 4.25 and I'm applying it with the Morphe M439 brush. You know I've raved about this brush in like my previous videos and how much I love it. And yes, my foundation is coming off a bit too light. I don't know if it's a lighting, but give it a second and it'll just oxidize to my skin tone. And then after this, I'm just going to use the Real Technique Beauty Sponge and just press in the foundation. I feel like it gives off like that airbrush look. Next, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Peach to cancel out my crazy dark circles as well as the discoloration on my eyelids. I'm using a damp Real Technique sponge to just blend this out. Honestly, you guys, the sponge is just as good as a beauty blender for the fourth of a cost. For the concealer, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the color 35N, which is a medium, and applying that underneath my eyes to brighten it a bit, as well as like around my nose and like by my mouth where I do get a little bit of redness. Before setting my under eye, I'm just making sure I have no creases. And then I'm gonna go with my Laura Mercier translucent powder using this brush and just softly dabbing it in underneath my eye, making sure that the concealer does not move. You don't wanna drag it. And I'm applying this translucent powder just at the center of my face because I do want that glow, even though I have oily skin, which I might regret, but at this point, I'm just going with the flow just pressing it in. I'm going in with this Too Faced bronzer in the color medium deep and using this e.l.f. highlighter. I'm just applying this right below my cheekbone as well as my temple and my jawline. Just to contour a bit, why am I using a highlighting brush? I don't know, I feel like this brush just kind of gives off like a feathery effect where it doesn't move my foundation. Next, I'm going to be going in with this angled brush and contour my nose a little bit. Be sure to bring the bronzer into your brows, that way it kind of has a more natural look and it's a little seamless. A little trick I like to do is put a little bit of bronzer underneath my lower lip, which gives a little cast of shadow, making it look like you have fuller lips. So I'm going to go in with the Huda Amethyst Obsession Palette using that matte medium purple and just applying it into my crease. I'm going to use the Morphe M505 blending brush and really just blending this out like that's the key is to just keep blending. I love doing like the feathery effect at the end when doing like smoky eyes. I feel like it really complements like my eye shape. I'm 
I'm going to grab the darkest color from the palette using this e.l.f. blending brush. I want to apply this eyeshadow just at the corners of my eyes and slowly blending it towards the midpoint. The key is to gradually build this color up because you don't want to go too heavy on the first hand. So I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and apply my concealer onto my lids and just kind of fade away with my fingertips until the midpoint. What this will do is it will make the eyeshadow pop a lot. And then we're going to go in with this metal color, it's super pretty, has hints of like blue glitter on it. And I'm going to apply that with my fingertips. If you like this eyeshadows or at least any of the eyeshadows with glitter in this palette, work best with the fingertip versus the eyeshadow brush because it just doesn't pick up with the brush for some reason. I'm going to grab this Tarte eyeshadow brush I received from one of their palettes and I'm going to grab the darkest color and apply it to the crease of my eyes just to deepen it up a bit. Using this Morphe palette 3502, I'm going to grab the last two darkest colors and apply it to the outer corners of my eyes just to smoke it out a bit. Be sure you're blending this out just so that it doesn't look too patchy. Using this Shimmer Burnie color, I'm going to take my finger and apply it at the center of my eyes. Be sure you're applying this to where you're fading it into both colors, that way it gives off that gradual dark to light effect. Going in with this light pink color, we're going to apply that color onto the tear ducts of our eyes. That way, it kind of gives our eyes that bit of a pop that we need. We're going to go back in with that Tarte eyeshadow brush and grab that medium matte purple. And just buff it out along our lower lash line. We want to buff it out until it kind of creates like a winged eyeshadow effect. This later on will kind of guide us when we're doing our winged eyeliner. Using a flat brush, we're going to grab the darkest color and apply it very closely to our lash line. What this will do is it will kind of create a very smoky eye look. Going in with the Bobbi Brown blush in the color Pretty Coral, we're going to just apply that to the apples of our cheeks and just softly blending it into our hairline. I chose this color because I felt like it really complemented the eyes where it's not too overwhelming and it just has like a all over balanced look. So for the highlighter, I went in with the Wet n Wild in the color Precious Petals and I'm applying it using the Morphe 501 highlighter brush. I'm going to apply that on the higher cheekbone area, on the higher arches of my brows, down the bridge of my nose, right at the tip of my nose, as well as right above my upper lip, just to give it a more plumpy effect. You want to apply the highlighter where the light would naturally hit your face.
So for the eyeliner, I'm using the L'Oreal Carbon Black Eyeliner. A trick I like to do is make the wing of the eyeliner first before applying the rest of the eyeliner just so that you could catch a mistake earlier on. I'm very picky with how my wing liners are like I'm very OCD like it has to be even even though not everyone's eyes are like the same but I like to apply the wing part first before connecting the rest of the eyeliner. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I love mixing mascaras up. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Carbon Black as well as the L'Oreal Telescopic. For the bottom lashes, I have to say my all-time favorite is the Telescopic just because it defines the lashes so well and it lengthens the lashes. For this look, I didn't go with the false lashes just because I had nowhere to go, but I would recommend using false lashes just to give off a more dramatic look. Right here, I'm trying so hard not to do the mascara face. Like, I feel like it's so hard to like apply mascara without not opening your mouth. Oh, there it is. I just couldn't resist. For my waterline, to give off a bigger eye effect, I'm using the NYX Faux White in the color Linen. If you want a more smokier effect, I would recommend using like a black liner rather than like a white or a nude liner. So for the lip liner, I'm going to use the MAC Boldly Bear and just apply that all over my lips. I feel like when you use a lip liner before lipstick, not only does it make your lipstick last longer, but it just kind of gives off a more cleaner look. So for the lip, I've actually mixed up two different colors. I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown in the color Cezanne Nude. This has became my favorite everyday lipstick. And then I'm going to top it up with the Revlon Blushing Mauve just to kind of give off a glossier effect. So there you have the purple smoky eye look. I hope you guys like this look just as much as I did. Be sure to give a thumbs up down below and also let me know what you thought about this look. Thanks for watching, you guys.